When someone steps on our feet, it is very painful. But it is worse if that person is wearing high heels because we all know that pressure is the force acting per unit area. So the smaller the surface area, the greater the pressure is. Yet in school, we learn that pressure in liquids are not dependent on the cross-sectional area of a container. It is only dependent on the density of the liquid, the height or depth of the liquid, and the gravitational field strength of the planet. Why is the pressure in liquid not dependent on the cross-sectional area of the container? Let's see why this is so. First, we know that the volume of the liquid V is given by H times A. We have also learned that the density of liquid is mass divided by volume. So the mass of this liquid is its density times its volume. Therefore, the weight of liquid, which is mass times gravitational field strength G, would be equals to density rho times the volume, which is height times base area A times G. The formula of pressure is given by force divided by area. For the pressure acting on this surface area A, what is the force? We have learned in dynamics that weight is a force. So, the force acting on this area A is the weight of this column of liquid acting on it. With that, we can substitute what we have just found about the weight, which is rho HAG into the formula of pressure. With the area on the numerator and the denominator, they cancel off each other. So we get the pressure of the liquid to be equal to density rho times H times G. This means that the pressure of liquid is equal to the height of the column times the density of the liquid times the gravitational field strength. This formula also tells us that the pressure in liquid does not depend on the volume of liquid nor the cross-sectional area of the liquid. But pressure depends on the density of the liquid and the height or depth of the liquid. So the deeper you go, the greater the pressure. This means that if you have a container like this, although the cross-sectional area on both sides are different, the pressure at any two points of the same vertical heights will be the same. Even for a manometer filled with water, if you pump gas on one side, pushing the water to the other side, the pressure at any two points with the same vertical height will have the same pressure. If you find this video useful, visit my website to get more free physics videos and try out the self-assessment questions to reinforce your understanding. The link is provided in the description area below this video. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when we post our next video lesson.